Business Brain, the Entrepreneur's Podcast, episode 417 for Friday, January 20th, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Business Brain, the show where we talk about how we use our business brains in all aspects of our lives to make our lives happier, more efficient, more productive, and all in all, better. Here, using my business brain yet again in Durham, New Hampshire, for the moment, I'm Dave Hamilton. And here in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean, at least as far as you know. That's what you keep telling me, man. I, I've decided yeah, to believe it. I'm, I've never that's once, I don't think either one of us has ever checked our IDs. Uh, uh, we've seen them though, because when we set up bank accounts, yeah. I think we probably had to. Yeah, like, that's yeah, true. That's just true. Yeah. So we're put a lot of brand, a lot of effort in branding. So you wouldn't want to swap that out. No, I don't want to change it. In fact, if my name that's wasn't Dave Hamilton, I would go out of my way to like why get, not get, get yeah. IDs to make it. I, I, I'm gonna. I, we should. T- I want to tell the story about your name real quick because I've told. I tell it all the time, and it's one day we, you and I were like doing a pre-show setup, okay. and I can remember you saying, "Hey, you know, if if you could buy your." Your name.com, DaveHamilton.com, and you know, spend, I don't know, it was a few hundred bucks or whatever it was. Would, would you do that? And I was like, oh, absolutely. And I think I put some ceiling, like, you know, I'd spend up to 500 bucks or a thousand bucks because I think it's worth it. And I had been trying to get my own, you know, domain, ShannonGene.com for years. And there was nothing there, but somebody owned it and I could never get them to, as is, happens a lot when you're trying to get a domain, people don't respond. Yeah. Right. And, so while you and I talked, you went up and bought it. And I was like, that's great. And then I immediately after the show, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go check again. And I went and checked Shannon Jean. Boom. Available. 10 bucks. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was so happy that you prompted me and that I didn't pay. You know, I paid, I paid a thousand bucks for, for Dave Hamilton.com. It's totally worth, it. It's totally worth it, it. And Absolutely. what was funny is, of course, I was bidding against, you guessed, Dave Hamilton, right? A- another Dave uh, Hamilton. Yes. He reached out to me on Facebook like a week later and, and we've been Facebook friends ever since for, oh, for that's years. Cool. Yeah. Cause he was like, I wanted to meet the person that I was, that I was, you know, going against. I'm like, man, I wish you had had that discussion ahead of time because we probably could have saved one of us a little bit of money. Yes. You know, yes. cause yeah. Yeah, only right. one of us has the domain and only one of us paid a thousand dollars for it. So, yeah, that's you know, funny. yeah. Well, and I, I go, I mean, I have my kids, you know, domains I got and I get, yeah. you know, I keep, them up to date. I think it's very important for them. They can, my daughter has her portfolio up on her domain name and all that kind of stuff. And my son, once he kind of is not a knucklehead anymore, he'll, he'll, he'll realize the value of it too and build something up there. Yep. And uh, when he gets a little older, so yes. Yeah, so anyway, that, that's, that's just, I, and I tell that a lot. I don't know why and nobody probably cares, but I think yeah. it's a good story. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's good to own your own domain. Cause it like, I, I feel like if I had told the other Dave Hamilton, look, I'm willing to spend a thousand bucks on this. When we were at 300, he would have been like, oh, okay, well, I'm out. But, you know, like, he yeah. would have been like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not willing to spend a thousand on it. Like, okay, great. Yes. No problem. Yeah. So, but true. then I would have gotten it for like 300 instead of a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, it, and it's a great hub for all your stuff. If, if you're an yeah. entrepreneur, if you yeah. use your business brain for all this kind of stuff, it's, it's like, if you go to shannonjean.com, you can just see all the projects that I'm, yeah. I have been involved in or currently. I need to flesh Uh, mine out more. That was one of my 2022 uh, sort of, you know, back burner projects. And and we all know how that went. So uh, and I just put up, I just put up the logos and links and that's it. And then I, and then, and then I have a blog and I kind of post stuff from time to time and and update it. And uh, it works out well. And, you know, the nice thing about if you're an author and you sell on Amazon, like a self-published author or even regular author, uh, you get an author page up on Amazon and you can link your blog right to it. So every time you post something on your personal blog, it goes up on Amazon and it really helps your search engine uh, optimization and it drives a ton of traffic to, I, I I track it all the time. I get a lot of traffic from Amazon that comes into, to my website for particular blog posts. Interesting. uh, It's great. And it's free and it's part of the thing. And you can go post uh, a, a five page, you know, paper and i'm sure you may have that content already and give it away for free and still get access to the author page and uh, and dave i know you have one because you and i have co-authored yeah. a book up on amazon yeah and that's just a nice a nice way to do it and sometimes i'll use that link if people are asking about stuff and i'll send them to there it gives you maybe a little more credibility sometimes so huh. tip of the day 
That is that's these are great tips. Man, I'm ready to wrap the show. I was gonna <laughs> I um I, I do have one little thing that I think yeah. will remain little. I am we are recording this uh before I leave for Italy. We're going away for ten days. Um, my daughter lives there now. Nice. And and so, yeah, we're going over to see her and her boyfriend and yeah, it, uh, hopefully it'll be nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I just came back from CES in Las Vegas. And as soon as I came back, I wound up with the flu. I, I presume it wasn't COVID, uh, okay. yeah. but I've had COVID twice in the last year, whatever it was that I had last week, the not COVID that I had was much worse. Like it really? knocked me uh, on my butt, man. I, 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 one morning I had a fever of about a hundred and my heart rate was about a hundred, like resting wow, heart rate. My, crazy. my resting heart rate is in the sixties, man. Like normally. Yeah. And it, my, like I couldn't sleep because my heart rate was at a hundred, you know, um, I, clearly my body was fighting something and, and at sure. this point, I can th- happily say that, you know, it, it's it's done. I've got a little lingering congestion, but the fever hasn't been there for days. The cough is pretty much gone. Um, and, it, you know, it, like I haven't taken any meds for anything in, in the last few days. So, like, this is good news. But it really derailed me. And I had planned this where I came back from CES and then had about 10 days in the office, you know, at home, uh, you know, including weekends before we left for Italy, because it was made Ah. clear to me that we were going to be going to Italy in January. I was like, wow, that's a terrible time for me to go anywhere, but okay, Uh, that's what we're doing. I got it. Yep. Uh, so I, um, so I wound up this weekend freaked out a little bit because it, it did derail my productivity last week. There, get, like I needed, there was, I, sure. I literally sense. took a sick day and, and this weekend I was supposed to have a bunch of band rehearsals, canceled all of those. Like I it was just out for the count. And I was like, even as, as recently as yesterday morning, I was like, all right, maybe I need to send the family off and uh, you know, maybe I'll follow them in four or five days or something. Like I, I like I'm just too far behind and I was kind of bummed about that, but I was coming into that realization that that was probably going to be the best thing. Cause I, I just can't, you know, take another 10 days and be totally derailed. And I thought yesterday morning, and then I, I was like, well, I, I have a bunch of stuff to do. So if I'm going to be in the office doing stuff, I'm going to go be productive. And I did, I turned on some music. Music really helps okay. me focus when I yeah. need to like power through like what kind of music, um, I can listen to almost anything. Mm. Um, I, I like the band fish and yeah, they, okay. they, they tour a bunch and they release every single one of their live shows. So I wind up listening to a lot of live fish stuff, which is cool. more yeah. instrumental than vocal stuff, but the vocal stuff doesn't distract me most of the time. Uh, you know, I can, I can listen to anything. I, I, I listen to Sometimes classical music, but sometimes it'll be like Green Day or REM or yeah. Rush okay. or whatever. Like, uh, you know, it's, yeah, whatever. Um, but it's mostly fish just because they produce a lot of content, right? So more content. Yeah, sure. You're going to get more of my ears. And uh, and it's new content. Like, I haven't heard these songs before. So sometimes I'll stop and be like, oh, that's interesting what they did with this here. Okay, cool. And then it's like, all right, back into work. And music helps me focus. It doesn't distract me. It's it's Which is weird. I, I know it's normal for people who are like, Like, you know, I don't know if I'm ADHD or what, but I know that music helps a lot of people that, that have those diagnoses helps me. That helps me too. Big time. But I'm a musician. And so I know a lot of musicians who can't listen to music when they're trying to do something else because they get distracted by, you know, going deep into that. Like that becomes the thing. That's not all often. That is not the case for me. And it wasn't yesterday. Super had a super productive morning. Plowed through everything. I went through my email, like I talked about uh, in the last episode, and really caught up on all the things that I sort of let fall by the wayside while I was traveling at CES and while I was sick. And uh, and hit the end of the day, not even the end of the day, by about three in the afternoon, I was like, okay, wait a minute. I can go to Italy. I'm going. I'm going to go with the family. I just need to carve out two hours every other day where I'm going to put my AirPods in. I'm going to listen to some music. I'm going to bring an extra screen with me. I, I have ViewSonic's new VP16 OLED, which is a 
almost 16 inch. They call it a 16 inch. It's like 15 point oh, something. That's cool. Um, yeah. OLED screen. You plug it into your laptop. It becomes a second monitor. I'm I am a second monitor person. I've always had two monitors at my my workspace. I yep. for whatever reason I am a lot more productive, especially sort of doing that grunt work, that heads down stuff. I'm so much more productive when I can have two screens up for a lot of the things that I do. So I've got that. Uh, I'm going to travel with that. It's a gorgeous screen, this OLED thing, man. It's great. I'm stoked that's about cool. it. Yep. It's packable, no problem. It, it just packs yeah. flat. And it, it's yeah, cool. It's got a stand. Um, it can be just like an easel type stand where the, the bottom of the monitor essentially rests on the desk. And then it, it just, you know, has a kickstand sort of thing out the back. Killer. Or Here, would you put a link to that in the show notes? What, I will. That's cool. Or the kickstand can fold out and actually lift the thing up several inches if oh, you want that. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah. It's great. And it's, it's powered by your computer. So you just need to bring one cable. You plug in, you're what good about to go. a keyboard. What about a keyboard? Do you bring a, a I'm fine me, with the, I have a MacBook. Okay. Um, and a uh, two-year-old M1 Air, uh, yeah, Apple MacBook Air, and I like that keyboard, so I don't need to bring a keyboard with me. I'm, I'm fortunate in that okay. regard. Yep. Yeah, but yeah. I, you know, I feel like, and and where we're staying, I, I, I actually went and looked at the Airbnb listing again. I'm like, okay, where can I carve out like a place to, that's to work? And I know my family would like help me. And if I needed to carve out the kitchen, cause that's the only place they'd be like, all right, well, we'll vacate the kitchen for two hours. We want to make sure you're here. Y you know, like they, yes. they would, they would uh, adapt around that if necessary. I don't think that's going to be the case because we have an extra bedroom in this Airbnb we're renting. So I think that's going to work out, but I really, I, you know, yesterday going heads down and putting on some music made me realize, okay, I need to do this. Cause I've got a couple of like back to back to back trips coming up. Uh, I've got, you know, this one and then I'm home for about three weeks. And then in February, I've got it again, end of February into March. I've got to be in like, uh, Mexico, Vegas, Austin, and I think Houston in a, in a, so what you're telling me is we're recording or we're, we're shifting their recording dates <laughs> or, or we'll record while I'm on the road, which is also fine. Yeah. I, yeah. I have, I, I'm fine recording on the road. I mean, it's not I, I, bringing my my comfy podcast studio I can't do, but yeah. I can, I can bring a microphone and I'm technically savvy enough to make a recording work. I've done it. We've done it. You know, it's, it's fine. Yeah. yeah it's no big deal. Cool. But, um, that's great. But it made me realize like, you know, I need to be intentional about this while I'm traveling so that when I come back, I'm not feeling like overwhelmed and, and everything like, like I was, you know, being traveling and then being sick so I, I'm like, I, I learned this about, I, and I know this about me, but I sort of relearned this about me. I'm curious, you, you travel a bunch and you have a, um, you know, your, your house over at, at Tahoe as well, where you go often. Are you, how do you make sure you're productive when you travel or, or are you in a spot where you can afford to not be productive for the times that you're away from your primary residence? Yeah. I, it depends on what's going on, just like you're describing. Yep. But uh, oftentimes when I go to uh, our different vacation rentals that we have, well, those we run those as businesses. So I'm very productive, but I'm focused on that. That business. So when I go to Tahoe, my wife and I, uh, we we both have lists and, oh, this has to get done. This got to do this, got to check into this. We want to update this, maintenance that. Yeah. So we get stuff done, but it's related to those things. I put my other things typically, like my uh, online stores and things, I'll, I'll I put them in vacation mode and say, hey, I'm going to go focus on okay. this. And it works out really well. Okay. Yeah. So so but, you, but I, you kind of punt on, you're, you're able to at some level punt yes. on, on the other businesses. I, yes, I, I am. I am not in that mode entirely that I've got a couple yeah. of businesses that I can't just press pause on. Uh, yeah. like and we've that. recorded, like I, I, I've locked yeah. myself into one of the bedrooms and we've, rec we've recorded the podcast up there and I've done different things and certainly yeah. take calls and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but all in all, I try to separate and then focus while I'm up there on on what's going on around that there. Makes sense. Yeah. Part of the part of the problem is, and, and I think it's great that you are going to go because, you know, it's equally as important that you focus on the how to make the trip productive for your family, right, yes. and yourself, yes, and and reset as it is keeping everything else on track uh, to to make work. So, or you know, you you need to. 
sometimes I go up the, and I wind up not having the best time because I have so much stuff to get done. And of so course. We've, we've, tr- we've tried to, we're going to go up early, go stay later, then, especially if you're having other guests come up because it there's nothing worse than having to work on a, a place when everybody else is partying. Oh, yeah, and, you can't do that. Know. Not productively. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. No, no anyway, and I agree, yeah, I, I, I agree with you that, you know, the the having some downtime is a good thing. And I, I think my my issue here is I I was in forced downtime for about four days and I didn't have enough time because I was sick. You know, it was like yeah. I traveled to CES, which is sort of it, like... I did not carve out, I carved out work time while I was there, but it was to do work there. It was kind of like your vacation home type work. Like it was like, yes. here are things that are going to be about CES, but I really didn't carve out time. I don't even know that I would have been able to, to really do anything other than just like casually triaging email. And I need mm. it to, in order to, keep myself from feeling like getting to that point where I'm just overwhelmed. I need to, I need to be more than casual about it on a more regular basis, Uh, you know, and and especially right now. So it was like, all right, how can I do this? I can make this work. Cause then it was like, well, even if I, if I shorten my trip by four or five days, well now I'm traveling internationally and I'm only going to be gone for five oh, days. Yeah. Like that's going to burn that's me rough. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, <laughs> like what's the point of this? And, yeah. yeah. And you won't be as productive. No, and if, you know, no, it's, it's just not, it's not worth it. You it's not worth it. it out. Yeah, exactly. So I, I was happy that I had that sort of realization yesterday that was like, wait, if I just focus on, it doesn't matter where I am. I mean, parts of it do and parts of it. I'm certainly more efficient in my environment, but enough of it, I can be productive with, especially in today's world. You know, we talked about email being synced yeah. to your server. Everything's synced to my server now, like all my documents, all that stuff. It doesn't matter what computer I have. As long as I have, you know, a computer that's logged into my stuff, which Correct. all of my computers are, I'm generally good to go. So uh, I'll, I'll report back when we get back, but, um, that's great. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, you know, if you have productivity tips you want to share, please send them in feedback at businessbrain.show and, you know, go, go register all your kids domain names. That's really important. You can yeah. thank me sometime later in the future. And, you know, use, we're doing these use, um, either use Namecheap or what I've been using is Cloudflare. I know they're more know. of a like uh-huh. DNS management company, but you yeah. get the management for free. And their um, domain registrations are at their cost. So, well, that's cool. Yep. That's good to know. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, we've been doing these bite sized shows, uh, 15, 20 minutes, getting some great feedback. Uh, remember, if you co- comment to feedback at business show, no, that's not, that's no, the name, <laughs> businessbrain.show. Uh, and we mentioned your email on, on, the, on an episode, uh, like our good friend Jeff B that sent in some comments and uh, gave us some tips about show link. We're going to put him uh, down as the entrance uh, for the MacBook Air that we'll give away in 2023. Amazing. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for listening, folks. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, make sure you send in your email, feedback at businessbrain.show. Make sure you keep living that charmed life. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Yeah.